You know, this goes back to chemistry with the quarterback and the coaches. Like, trust me. You know, they have the, they, they trust that I'll make the plays and they keep on giving me opportunities to make the plays. So I really appreciate them on that part. Mark, um, uh, you were a big part of that 99 yard drive that the offense that hadn't done really anything since the first quarter. Tell me about that drive and how big a catch that was. I mean, we was in the hole, you know, we was looking around the huddle like it's us. We had to do it. We had to drive down the field, you know, try to put the game out. You know, that's exactly what we did. Everybody dug in, dug a little deeper, and, you know, came out victorious. Steven? Um, it seemed like just talking with Eric uh, a few times, he kind of noticed you had one-on-one -on -one coverage or a beneficial matchup. What percentage of kind of uh, your production today do you think came from that, and how much was more uh, just the, the play and how it would have progressed kind of naturally? I mean, I'm not sure the exact percentage, but you know, we knew there was going, was going to be opportunities, and you know, it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one, so we did a good job utilizing that in the practice. You know, trying to work the tempo. We knew it was going to be there, so Eric did a good job of finding me. Mm -hmm. I'm, sure, I'm sure you scouted Summers a little bit, the guy who was on you. What did you kind of notice, and did, did you think there was anything in particular you could maybe take advantage of a little bit? Um, he's a good player. I knew he was going to try to jump a lot of routes, so I tried to just play with speed and just try to beat him to the spots. Cool. Thanks. When uh, I don't imagine you walk in the door and Eric's like, I'm going to throw every 50-50 ball to this guy. Um, how did you build that trust with him, and when do you think it happened? I mean, with our whole group of receivers, you know, we stay after to do a lot of extra work, and he tells us whoever's open first, you know, he's going to throw it to him. Today was just my day. You know, another week could be another guy. It just depends who, who works works to release the best and gets over fast. Kevin and John. On that 99-yard drive, was there pressure for you guys to put up some type of points after the defense had just gotten that fourth down stop at the goal line? Um, I wouldn't say necessarily pressure, but, you know, we're all the family, and they did their part, so it was only, it was only right that we do our part and, you know, have their battle that they had ours. How much do you think, how much do you think the success of the offense kind of depends on you? Um, I wouldn't say necessarily to me. It's just where his numbers caught at the time. And, you know, they didn't call my number. I just... And they call my numbers, my job performs, so it just goes like that. Time for a couple more questions, Sal. When you first decided that you were going to use your last year of eligibility, you're looking at schools, did you ever think that this was going to be the start of your four games that you were going to have? I mean, of course, I knew it was possible. It just goes back to practicing hard and putting the work in. You know, you can't you can't get any type of results without putting work in. So that was the first thing I did, was just start working my butt off and just try to do things I can control first. Chris, what were your ex like? Realistic expectations for yourself heading into the season? Um, see, I try to play. I try to head into the season with a clear mind, just do the best I can do. You know, hopefully everything will fall in place, and that's exactly what's happened. Does this exceed them, though? I mean, was this in your at all in your mind? I, mean, I really didn't have any type of numbers in mind, so I guess this is this is exactly what I thought it would be. Last question from the first row. Can you just talk about the start of the game when you had two major touchdown catches within the Kings first five minutes, over 100 yards catching and. Five, in five minutes, was that something you saw that going into the game that you thought you could exploit, or did those just happen that you saw the one in the end man coverage work with you? Yeah, that goes back to the coaches. You know, they, they do a good job of creating one-on-one uh, -on -one matchups and calling the plays that we need, so that goes back to them. I applaud, I applaud them for you know, believing in me and be, uh, be able to make the plays.